No master had this kind of treasure. Disciple! Disciple! Hey! <laughs> hey, master! Disciple! You're walking too fast. Ah, master, I'm walking as slow as I can. What is that over there? Oh, oh that's a monastery. A monastery? Oh. going on out here. This is madness. Ah, uh, I did it. <laughs> no. Uh, Brother. Uh, what is that thing? He is bad-tempered. If he heard you called him a thing, he would be angry. Uh, then he is my disciple. I am terribly sorry for the trouble he's caused. My apologies. Ah. Uh. May I know where you are from? My name is Tripitaka. I came from Tang in the east. I go to Thunder Monastery in the west to worship Buddha. We'd like to ask for a night's lodging. Oh, I'm sorry to greet you so. How should I address you? This is the abbot of our monastery, Abbot Jin Shi. Abbot Ginger. Come to the back room with me for dinner. Have tea. Thank you. Thank you. What splendid things. So wonderful. Oh. They are simply beautiful. Hardly, hardly. 
After all, you came from more civilized lands. What treasures have you brought that I might observe? It's true that I came from the east, but my journey will be long, so I brought no treasures with me. Master! Isn't that cassock in our bundle a treasure? Why don't you show it to him, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a cassock? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Huh? Your disciple is quite humorous. I don't mean to boast, but to speak of cassocks. Our abbot has collected dozens of wardrobes full. Hmm. Closer. Abbot, open the storeroom. Yes. measure up to yours. <laughs> oh, you truly are from the east. Please, To rise. have such treasure. Venerable Abbot. Abbot. Uh, uh, I, I fear that my eyes are too dim to see it clearly. Monkey, hmm? send for a candle and take another look. Sure. Wait. Your cassock already shines so brightly. A candle would only obscure it. I bet. Then how can you see it clearly? Uh, if you could set aside your fears and let me take it to my room to examine tonight, I'll return it in the morning. Is that acceptable? It's... This is all your fault. Master, I'm here. Don't worry. Good. And have a thorough look. Disciple. Disciple. Huh? It's not that I'm stingy. Monks strive to attain emptiness, and displays of wealth don't help. Your flaunting might get us into trouble. Master, what harm could letting him see the cassock do? That's a treasure from the Bodhisattva Guan Yi. We shouldn't show it to others. Display nothing grand to the greedy. We're all alone here. Anything could happen. All right, all right. Don't worry, Master. I'll get it back from the old monk tomorrow morning. <laughs>
Abbot, what's the matter? Uh, I've been a monk all my life, but I've never seen such a precious cossack. If I could wear it even for a day, I could die in peace. <laughs> Abbot, that's easy. Uh, we keep him here another day, and you can wear it another day. If we can keep him for ten days, you can wear it ten days. Aye. Even if we kept him for half a year, I could only wear it for that long. He would still take it away when he leaves. I can't keep it forever. <laughs> What happened? That hairy faced monk scared me out of my wits! What shall we do then? Abbot. We'll just have to give up those three rooms then. Brothers! Huh? Brothers! Uh, where are you taking all this firewood? Burn the tunnel! Hey! 
Vanta told us not to tell anyone. Come on. Uh, oh, oh. The troublemaker's back again! Uh, don't you run. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I came to see the loot, Heavenly King! <laughs> I came to see the loot, Heavenly King! <laughs> it's been a long time, Great Sage. <laughs> Indeed, it has. What are you here for, Great ah, Sage? Come here. Get over here. Come on. <laughs> now, my masters run into some villains who started a fire to kill him. I need your flame shield to save him with. Huh? <laughs> um, go to the Dragon King for water if there is a fire. What do you need my flame shield for? <laughs> ah, if I got water, the fire will be all gone. <laughs> I just want to protect my master. The rest of them... <laughs> Let them burn. <laughs> Dirty ape! You think only of yourself, never of others. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, huh? Thank you very you much. Dirty Thanks. Ape. <laughs> Ooh. Help! Help! Fire! Fire! This way! Hurry! Hurry! Don't put out the fire! Abbott! Go get some rest, Abbott! Put out the fire! Put it out! Uh, Abbott, go, go put out the fire. Yes. Put it out. Oh. 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 My cassock. Oh, where is my cassock? My cassock. My cassock. Oh, where is my cassock? My precious cassock! <gasps> oh my. What happened to the monastery last night? <laughs> Master, you're still asleep. There was a fire. I kept our room safe and saved your life. <laughs> If you could protect our room, why not stop the fire in the other buildings? <laughs> you don't understand, Master. That old monk set the fire to kill us. Huh, without me, huh, you'd be cinders right now. Nonsense. Are you sure you didn't cook this up because they were rude to you? Uh-huh, Master. I'm not such a maniac as to do a thing like that. That old monk set the fire to get our cassock. I just added a slight breeze. <laughs> heavens, heavens. When a fire starts, you should bring water, not wind. Mm -hmm. You must know the old saying, tigers wouldn't hurt people if we didn't hurt them. Master. There's nothing we can do about it now. But our cassock? Mm -hmm. It's all right. The room it's in didn't catch fire. Get it back immediately. Uh, uh, there are venti ghosts of return! Come here! Come here! Spare our lives, please! Master, the old abbot cooked this up! Master, it wasn't our fault! Master! 
Monkey told me the truth. Amitabha. <laughs> you think we're ghosts? We can't be burnt to death. <laughs> Spare our lives! Spare our lives! Get up! Get up! Where's the old abbot? Huh? He's in the back room! Master Monkey! Master Monkey! We wouldn't dare! Uh, and Reverend, maybe our abbot may have put it on and got burnt with the cassock. The cassock was woven of fireproof fibers. <coughs> Disciple! <coughs> you dirty ape! This was all caused by you. It's thanks to you another innocent has died. No, Master. If you can't get the Cossack back, I'll recite the band tightening spell. Uh, uh, master, don't. Uh. Uh. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Tell me, are there any monsters or demons nearby? Uh, monsters? Monster. Yes, monster. yes. yes. There is one mm -hmm. on Black Wind Mountain, 10 kilometers from here. You'll uh -huh. find Black Wind Cave where Black uh -huh. Demon lives. Our abbot used to discuss the towel uh -huh. with him. Oh, I see. Look after my master and be polite. Uh -huh. Just take care of our horses. Uh -huh. Make sure he gets hay uh -huh. and water. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Anything goes wrong. Oh, we yeah. there. No, no. Watch this. Oh. Oh. Come on, drink. Uh, okay. Eat. 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 Bring it in. Be careful. Put it here. Good. This one, this one is for you. Get out. And this one for you. Get out! Get out of here! Help yourself. My brother, tomorrow's my birthday. And I'm inviting everyone to Black Wind Cave. For a cassock banquet. Cassock banquet? <laughs> you won't believe it, my brother. But last night, in the Abbot Jincher's monastery, <laughs> I found a treasure. Treasure is mine. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. You are fortunate, my brother. <laughs> Cheers. 
Drink. 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 Hey! You devils! Give me back the cassock! Entrance. Lock it. stick for you to look like that. <laughs> Who are you, wild monk? How dare you act so brash? Enough prattle. Give me the cassock now. <laughs> I took it all right. Now, let's see you get it back. <laughs> you talk as if I can't. If you don't give it back, I'll topple Blackwind Mountain. Flatten your cave and bury you all alive. Huh. Mm -hmm. Who are you anyway, little monk, to boast like that? Huh. I am the great sage equaling heaven who turned the heavenly palace upside down five centuries ago. <laughs> <laughs> So, it's the stable minister. <laughs> the Jade Emperor's incompetent stable boy. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Disciple, have you found the Cossack? Master, the demon in Black Wind Cave, he's the one who stole it. Uh -huh. Amitabha. Amitabha. The Cossack is found. We're we saved. We are saved. Get away. But why didn't you bring the Cossack back here? Uh, I was about to fight him, but then he turned into a puff of wind and fled. What kind of a fiend is he? <laughs> a black bear spirit, black as coal. <laughs> that old abbot deserved to die. Huh. Dealing with a demon like that? Huh. Amitabha. Your abbot here might have been a demon. Uh, uh, Reverend, 
Our abbot wasn't a demon. No, he wasn't. That demon used to take the form of a man and come to discuss the way with our abbot. They were simply friends. Disciple. Hmm? How can you get the cassock back? <laughs> Don't worry, master. I have a plan. Master! <laughs> master! Master! The abbot is here to see you! What's he doing here, without an invitation? <gasps> Hide the cassock! Great Bear King, I've come to see you. <laughs> My old friend, haven't seen you for days. How are you? Fine, fine. Sit down. <laughs> I've come to attend your cassock banquet. Huh? The cassock banquet? What's that? Oh. <laughs> You've invited all your friends to attend a cassock banquet. I happen to be aware of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I was going to send someone to invite you tomorrow. But since you've come today, You've saved me the trouble. Good. Good. Oh, have I now? <laughs> then, would you take the cassock out? And let me have a look in advance. <laughs> Friend, the cassock belonged to Tang Priest. And he's been staying with you. You must have seen this cassock before. I borrowed it, but I didn't have time to really look at it. Then my monastery caught fire, and you took it. Brother, you're an adept looter, huh? Hey, what do you mean? Didn't you want his cassock too? Oh, brother, don't be angry. I don't mean to take it back. What I came to do is simply have a look at it. Hmm? Just one look? That's all I want. All right. I'll let you have one look. This way. Thanks. What an amazing cassock. to Guan Yin. This whole thing is her fault. Be silent. This is her monastery. And she receives worship here. But she chose such a greedy abbot and allows that bear demon to live nearby. Huh. You caused all of this. Mm. How can you blame the Bodhisattva? You sinner. You sinner. Amitabha. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll go see Guan Yin and have it out with her. Disciple. Huh? All right. You can only beg for her help. Uh -uh. Be courteous to her. <laughs> Don't worry, master. Disciple. When will you come back? Monkey, 
What are you here for? My master's journey brought him to your monastery. You accept his incense, but you have allowed a greedy abbot to run it and allowed a black bear demon to live nearby. What nonsense, you dirty ape. You caused this by showing off the cassock. Now you come to blame me. <laughs> I, so you know everything. <laughs> then please forgive my sins. I could beat the demon, but I fear my master's band tightening spell. Bodhisattva, I beg you, help me recover the cassock, please. Huh? Very well then. Huh? For Tripitaka, huh? I will go with you. Good heavens, why did you kill him without reason? Look, Bodhisattva! <laughs> this snake spirit was a friend of the black bear demon, and he was coming to the cassock banquet being held for the black bear demon's birthday. Mm. Huh? Confessed everything that bear demon is finished. Monkey, what do you mean? Bodhisattva, with these two immortality pills, it's a simple job. Look. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> but you'll have to help me. Why? If you'll change yourself into the snake spirit, well, I'll handle the rest. Hmm? Hmm. 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 <laughs> if you won't, then you go west. I'll go east. We can forget the cassock, and Master will be up the creek. Monkey. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Monkey. Hmm? <laughs> Wonderful! Wonderful! <laughs> I can't tell if you're a bodhisattva or a demon. Enough of that silliness. <laughs> Allow me to present you with this oh. magic pill. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Huh? Your Majesty, I refined the black one for 49 days, Whoa. but the red one took a total of 81 days. Oh, 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 oh. Your Majesty should take the red one. Mm, 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 mm. Come, mm. let's take them together. Ah. Mm. You mm. first, <laughs> please. <laughs> please, uh, uh, please spare my life, Bodhisattva. Black Bear Demon, give the cassock to me now, and I'll ask Monkey to spare your life. Oh, thank you, Bodhisattva, thank you, thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Monkey, come on out. <laughs> huh. ah. Wait.
Wait. Hmm? Don't kill him. Ah, uh, but why keep the beast alive? My Potoraka Island lacks a caretaker. I'll make him an island guarding deity. Ah, uh, merciful Bodhisattva. I will repent. I will repent. <laughs> you certainly are the all-merciful deliverer. If I knew that spell, I'd use it to kill off every black bear I could find. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey, take the cassock and return it to your master. And remember to never show off in front of others. Oh, sure, I know. Your father sent Gao Cai out to look for a priest. Mother! Oh, mother! <laughs> Don't be sad. <laughs> go, child, go. Gao Cai. If you can't find an able-bodied priest this time, don't come back! But I... Go! Hurry! Uh... What a mess. Oh. Ouch! <laughs> Disciple, where are we now? <laughs> Never mind where we are. Master, we're still far from you? the west. We'd better find a house and get some food. Uh, all right, just a minute. Monster, sir, please let go of me. I won't let you go if you don't tell Monster. me. <laughs> Help! Eh, monkey. Monkey. <laughs> don't play with him. <laughs> Just ask him the way. <laughs> Master, you don't understand. Whenever I hear of monsters, I get antsy. <laughs> How can monsters be out in broad daylight? <laughs> it's true, sir. A monster uh -huh. wants to marry our master's daughter. Huh? There's really a monster. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Do you think anyone would joke about that? <laughs> well, you're lucky you met this monkey. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm going to subdue your monster. You? Huh? Come on. Many a priest have tried and failed. Are you sure? Monkey, huh? don't show off. Don't worry, master. On your horse. Here we are. Come on. Look, here we are. Oh? Master. Sir, you wait here. I'll go announce you. 
Sir, just a moment. Hold on. Open the gate! Open the gate! It's me! Oh, you're back. I got a priest. Oh. Monkey. Don't be naughty. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Lord Go! Lord Go! Lord Go! Hmm? Lord Go! Huh? You idiot! Why did you come back? I found a priest to subdue the monster. You just left. It's true! He said he could do it. He's at the gate! Good! Go ask huh? him in. Oh, huh? Okay. May, hmm? Get tea ready. Yes. Where is he? He's here. Oh, master, accept my respects, please. Greetings, greetings. Oh. Hey, old man. Huh? 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 You haven't said hello to me, huh? Uh, you, you flea-bitten ninny. You brought a thunder god here to ruin us. Uh. <laughs> oh, hey. man. You can't judge by appearances. I'm not the Thunder God. I'm his boss's boss's boss. <laughs> Monkey. Huh? Don't be afraid, sir. He is my disciple. Oh. Monkey. Master. Enough gibberish. <laughs> Master, this old man's a bit rude. I came to subdue the monster. What do my looks matter here? Huh? Please. Please come in. <laughs> <laughs> Please, please, sit down, please. Master. Please. Please. <laughs> Serve tea. Please. May I ask where you come from, gentlemen? I was sent by the Emperor of the Great Tom in the East to go west for Buddhist scriptures. Oh. Uh. We passed this way, and would like to spend the night here. So, you want a place to sleep? What's this about catching monsters? <laughs> Maybe we can even catch a few monsters before we go to bed. <laughs> hey, how many monsters do you have, huh? How many? Uh... Goodness, how many? We only got one, and he's already ruined our lives. Hey! Oh, hey, hey, hey. Tell me all about this monster so I can catch him for you, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> this monster... Huh? Actually, once he, he was our family's savior. Oh?
Miss, I've driven them away. You can come out. Tui Lan. Tui Lan. Miss. Tui Lan. How you doing, Miss. my dear? Miss. Mother. Thank you it was for saving nothing. my daughter. Please accept my gratitude. Nothing no. at all. Don't worry. Please, take your daughter home. Uh. Hey, boy. Hey, what do you want? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Please let Come go here. of me! Please let go of me! You think you can get away with abduction? Go carry this a time. <laughs> Let's go! Take care. Take care. Please sit. Thank you, kind sir. My daughter is saved. Uh, it doesn't matter. But what if they come back again? Oh, then uh... you don't have to worry. I don't mean to brag, but as long as I'm here, no matter how many come, they'll never take her. <laughs> oh. Then. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Honey, come and serve your savior tea. Yes. Please have some tea. Thank you very much. Please drink. <laughs> sir, sir, uh, if uh, you are willing, you are very welcome uh, to stay with us. Uh, what do you say? Uh, gladly, happily indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Master! 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 What are you doing back here? I... Didn't that monster eat you? I... What monster? He's just a strong man! What about Miss Gao? Ah... Miss Gao has been taken back to the Gao Manor! What? He comes from Mount Blessing, and that he has no parents or brothers to care for. And he sure works hard. <laughs> huh? <laughs> but he eats so much. And if he keeps this up... Well... He can do more work. Such a good man, and so strong. Mm. But his face is so... He... Hmm. Looks better than you. Ah, save it. He looks fine. Hey, if we let Twila marry him, then he will be here to take care of us. What do you think of this, huh? Mm. But Swelan would have to put up with it. Without his help, those bastards would have kidnapped her. That's true. Let's set a wedding date. <laughs> huh? Good. <laughs> Bounce! 
to heaven and earth. Congratulations. Bow to your parents. Hello. <laughs> Lord go! Lord go! Lord go! Lord go! Enter the brat! The bastard and his men are breaking in! Uh, what should we do? Uh -huh. <gasps> Mother! I'll deal with them. That's him! You just wait! There's nowhere you can run! Run! Run away! Hide away! Come on! He's coming! He's coming! I'll show them! Hide! Thank you. 
Your son-in-law? Old man, huh? since they've had the wedding, huh? just huh? accept him. Huh? My goodness, oh, no. how can you say such a thing? Hmm? How can my daughter marry a monster like that? <gasps> then what should we do? <sighs> Our family is so unlucky. Swelan, Swelan, be careful! Be careful! Swelan, Swelan! Mother, Swelan. father, I'm going to see my wife. <laughs> Is that real? Yes. I saw he has such a long mouth, such big ears. He scared away all the guests. <laughs> <gasps> Darling. <gasps> Darling, I bow to you. You're a monster! I I'm not a monster. Darling. Let me bow to you. Ah! Miss! Darling. Out of the way. <laughs> Listen to me. Miss! Listen to me. He would. Oh, he seems pretty nice. Nice? <laughs> that was because Sui Lan refused him. The monster. <sighs> what? Save me! Miss! 
Father, Swaylon, darling, you better talk it over with my new father. I'm getting impatient. I won't be so polite next time. <laughs> He comes in the mist and cloud and sends sand flying. He's threatened my daughter many times. Oh. <gasps> That's probably him. He's back oh. again. Monkey. Master. Can you subdue the monster? Don't worry. I'll get him tonight and make him write a divorce agreement. Huh? Why bother <laughs> with a divorce, sir? Getting him out of our life is all we want. Don't be afraid, madam. When he comes, <laughs> I'll get him. Have a seat. Oh. Uh, young monk, uh, how many people do you need to help you? I only need you. Huh? <laughs> Me? You just need to keep my master company. Huh? <laughs> uh, uh, this. Where is she? Come here. She's locked huh? up in there. <gasps> Well? What? The key! If I had the key, why would we need you here for? Yeah. Huh? No, no, no. Don't do it. No. If you yeah. break the lock, the master will know you are here and take measures. If you can stop him, our whole family will. <laughs> Madam, come with me. <laughs> now! Uh, uh, madam, some... madam! Uh, well, just come inside uh, with me! <laughs> uh, <laughs> madam, uh, just go in. was all this young monk. Ah! Oh, mother! Don't be scared. Has the monster come? No, not yet. Oh. Hmm? Oh. Uh. Darling, will you let me in tonight? My darling, will you let me in tonight? Huh? <laughs> Fine then, come on in. Great. 
That's great. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. I'm coming. <laughs> darling, I missed you. My darling. Handsome, but I can become handsome whenever I want. I just think uh, uh, we're already uh, married, so why bother so much? Uh, uh. <laughs> Ouch! All you want is to sleep with me. You don't care about my happiness. <laughs> Darling, why are you unhappy? Oh. Oh. Darling, what is troubling you? Huh? Oh, you come and go on a puff of wind. I don't know who you are huh? or where you come from. Why? I told father everything already. My name is Du Ganglia, and I live in Cloud Pathway Cave, a Mount Blessing. Why are you asking me again? Darling, it's getting late. Let's go to bed. Uh, ouch! <laughs> Darling, you are so strong. Are you angry because I'm late? Don't be so pleased just yet. My father's already found a priest to catch you. What? A priest? I'm not afraid. Even if your old man summoned the worst demon smiting spirit, he couldn't hurt me. My father said he got the great sage equaling heaven, who caused a row in heaven five centuries ago. Huh? The great sage equaling heaven? Darling. Is that true? It's true. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I gotta go. Oh, come back. Uh, don't leave me alone. Darling, you don't know. That stable minister is quite a fighter. I couldn't beat him. And that was part of my <laughs> reputation. So I better go for now. I'll be back later. Darling, how can you just go and leave me all alone? <laughs> what should I do then? Take me with you. Huh? <laughs> what? That's perfect. Come with oh, me then. But I can't walk that far. Uh, uh, then I'll <laughs> carry you. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> My disciple usually fights monsters, so this is very strange. Mm. So why can't we hear anything now? Lord Go! Huh? Lord Go! Lord Go! The monster and the monk are all gone! Uh huh? Oh my. Mother. Several priests have disappeared like this before. Oh. That's right. Uh. Amitabha. Uh.
<laughs> Darling, where is your cave anyway? <laughs> Darling, just relax. We'll get there soon. <laughs> You are so beautiful. Just like the moon goddess. Have you ever seen her? <laughs> seen her? I've even... Uh, even what? Even what? Uh, Tell me. Uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> if you don't tell me... I won't go with you. Uh, darling, don't go. It, it was a sin I committed in the past. Then tell me about it. It's a long story. I used to be Marshal Tianpeng in the Heavenly Palace.
I was thrown into the underworld and reborn from the wrong womb and became a pig. Mm. Hey, hey. Aren't you ashamed? <laughs> Ow, darling, that hurts. <laughs> Marshal Tampum, take a look and see who I am. <laughs> come back, come back. <laughs> darling. <laughs> <laughs> Marshal Tian Pung, you seized an innocent girl. You won't get away with it. <laughs> Marshal Tian Pung, don't you run! Stable Minister. Mind your own bloody business! Come here. Pathway cave. <laughs> you stupid pig! Come out! Come out! Stable Minister, you've ruined my happy occasion! How dare you! Um ah, insult me again! <sighs> <laughs> Like roast pork. <laughs> Stable Minister. The law says breaking a man's door is a death sentence! <laughs> you kidnapped a helpless damsel. You're the criminal! I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, uh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Let you off? Will you ever go back to Gaul Manor? I, I, I won't. I won't. Mere promises. Burn your cave and move somewhere else. No, no, I can't. Uh, the Pudasetsva Guanyin ordered me to wait for the man going to the west. Uh, huh. uh. Uh, hey! hey. <laughs> uh, Tianpeng, Tianpeng, I'm escorting the Tang priest to the west to fetch the scriptures. Mm. Uh huh? Really? Of course! <laughs> Don't you trick me! Who's tricking you? Let's go! Lord Go! Lord Go! Lord Go! Lord Go! Huh? Master huh? Sun? He has caught the monster! Really? Yeah. Where are they? There they are. Oh. <laughs> Here we are. Eh? Your disciple is capable. Thank you so much. Amitabha. You idiot! Uh. That's our master! Go! Uh. Uh. Yeah. Greetings, <laughs> master! Monkey? Huh? Why is he bowing to me? Oh, master, just like me, Guan Yin ordered him to escort you west to get the scriptures. Oh. Then my thanks for her blessing. <laughs> Monkey, huh? untie him now. Huh. Untie me! Untie me! Our master told you to! <laughs> master, Guan Yin gave me a Buddhist name, Zhu Wu Nong. I also gave up the eight forbidden foods. But now that I've met you, Master, I can have them uh, again. No, no. You are not to touch them. And I'm giving you another name. Eight Prohibitions. All right. I'll take the name. Thank our master. Thank you, master. Congratulations on another good disciple. Amitabha. <laughs> Thank you both very much. This silver is a token of our gratitude. Madam, we wandering monks take no money or property. <laughs> All right. Gauta, you helped my master get a new disciple. If you find monsters again, be sure to tell me. <laughs> Father, look, my brother tore it up yesterday. Can you maybe give me a new one, huh? <laughs> his robe was torn while he carried his wife last night. <laughs> Come here. Come. Mother, what is it? As you once helped us. We are happy to give you a new role. Uh, all right, all right. What? Mother, please take care of your daughter. If we fail to get the scriptures, I'll be back. Yeah. Idiot, huh? keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Brother, carry the bags. Go. Uh, uh, <laughs> now I get to be a boss. This is far enough. Take care of yourself on your journey. Thank you, my savior. Huh? Let's go! Uh. Brother!
Where's Master? Up ahead. Oh, I see him. my master out right now. Pathetic. It's just a starving <laughs> monkey. <laughs> Pixie! Pixie! 
Easy. <laughs> what happened Easy. to your eyes? Monkey. Monkey. Tripitaka and his disciples are in trouble. I must go and help. But you're going to Mount Erme to meet the Bodhisattva Manjusri? It won't take long to stop and help. Come down with me. over here. Let's go have a look. Careful. used to water in the wind too but then I met a strange man who taught me to make three flower nine seed ointment this cures eye inflammation <laughs> we're, we're lucky to meet uh, you you saved his eyes don't move Yuxian bring some water yes uh huh His power is called Divine Samadhi Wind. It darkens the sky and blots out spirit's vision. Uh, go! <clears throat> hey, hey, don't move. Don't open your eyes tonight. Stay here, eat with me, and get some rest. You'll be fine in the morning. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Now get some hey, brother, rest. Let's go lay down. Now go uh -huh. over there. Over here. Uh -huh. Get up! Look! Uh, 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 You're cured! This <laughs> is <laughs> perfect! This is weird. They move without even telling us. Hey! The horse! Pixie! We have to find the master first. Uh, I'll go look for him, huh? Here I go! Oh, brother, be careful! Do it for me! Oh, my God. 
about the monkey! Oh, I, I didn't see him! <laughs> My wind must have ended his miserable life. <laughs> what if he wasn't killed and he asked for help from heavenly soldiers? What will we do? <laughs> heavenly soldiers are nothing to fear. <laughs> no one but the Bodhisattva Linji can stop my magic wind. <laughs> Hmm. Tonight we are going to dine on that Tang priest flesh. <laughs> Bodhisattva. Take my wind settler and capture the spirit. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bodhisattva! Bodhisattva! Why do you spare his life? He was a Martin who obtained the way under Vulture Peak. He stole divine oil from the crystal lamp, ran away to Yellow Wind Cave, and became a demon. I must take him back to Buddha to be sentenced. Oh. So he was one of Buddha's Martins. Buddha might go a little too easy on him. <laughs> <laughs> you sharp tongue monkey. Mm -hmm. You don't trust Lord <laughs> Buddha's judgment? <laughs> Give me back the wind settler. The pill? <laughs> don't be so stingy. Just leave it to me for some future use. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh! You dirty ape. I came to help you subdue the demon, but you tried to take my treasure without even a thank you? Go rescue your master. Oh, yes! <laughs> thank you! Quick! 
careful. Master, look. Okay. 
captured by that demon down there. Save it! How can I get across the river? Hey, brother. Hey, brother. How about you go back down there again and have a look? Again? Huh? No huh? way! Huh? Huh? You go if someone has to! Huh? <laughs> oh, all right, all right. I'll go. said anything about scriptures. <laughs> that hairy thunder god is his helper, and he's dangerous. Uh, I'm not going. <sighs> that is Pixie and Monkey King. They're Tripitaka's disciples, chosen by Gwen Yin. Don't be frightened. Come with me. <sighs> Master, I'm a fool. Forgive me for not recognizing you. Don't be afraid. This ogre of the Flowing Sands River is the mortal incarnation of the Great Curtain Lifting General. Huh? It's him. I carelessly broke a lamp at the Peach Banquet, so I was thrown down to Earth. I settled down in Flowing Sands River. After Guan Yin converted me, I have waited for you. I beg you accept me as your disciple. Do you wish to repent? You are my redemption from torment. I am utterly sincere. Bring the razor. Thank you, Master. Uh, 
<laughs> Brother. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Walking so fast, but I'm getting hungry. I can't go on. <laughs> you just left home a few days ago, and already you're complaining. I'm not like you people. I swear, I haven't felt full once since I became his disciple. Pigsy, if you want to go home, you can leave. Master, us. master. I only said I was hungry, but he says I'm complaining. I've repented, and, and I'm willing to escort you to the West. I made a promise. How, how can you ask me to leave? If that's so, let's be on our way. Pixie, uh, lead the horse. Megan, huh? no. Huh? You fool. Hurry. Uh, Hurry up. Uh, <laughs> Hurry up! As the lotus flowers are blooming, I invited both of you to enjoy Thank the you. sight. Thank you. Oh, look! A golden lotus. Master! Your Excellencies! I have introduced Sandy to Tripitaka and brought them across the river as you instructed. Hmm. Now that the master and his disciples are together, I can rest assured. I think your confidence is premature. Please do explain. I happened by when they ran into trouble at Yellow Wind Ridge and I cured the monkey's eyes. I found Pigsy still worldly. He may yet fall to temptation. Hmm. There are countless hardships on their way to the West. Without faith, their repentance will falter. Hmm. Brother. Perhaps a test of their sincerity and faith is in order. A test? A test? <laughs> hmm? Oh, 
monster! Look! There's a house. <laughs> oh, that's a big house. Ah. <laughs> Let's go back and some meal. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Uh -huh. Pixie! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Huh? Wait a second, Pigsy! Brother! Hurry! Come on! This must be a rich family! There's nobody here! Master, I'll go inside and look! Monkey? Huh? Monkey, we men of faith should not incur suspicion. You mustn't go barging in. I know! Who has forced his way into my house? Madam! Madam, I am from Great Tongue in the East. Oh. I go west to obtain scriptures. Our journey has brought us this way, and evening draws, so we have come to beg a night's lodging. Come on in. <sighs> Master! Come on! Come on, come on. Come, uh, quickly. Please. Sit down, please. Madam. Take it. Uh, Drink tea. May I ask your name, madam? My name is Jia, and my husband's was Mo. My husband died very young, leaving three daughters and I. Ah, our family has much wealth and much land. We have no one to care for our holdings. So I seek a husband for my daughters. Huh? Come here, my daughters. Come, Come here. mother. <laughs> mother. Mm, good. <laughs> we have so many guests Come. here. Greet these gentlemen. How, How do, do you do? do? <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? Amitabha. This is my oldest daughter, Chen Chen, 20 years of age. <laughs> oh, this is my second daughter, I I, 18 years old. Come, greet the gentleman. Mm. Mm, that's right. This is my youngest daughter, her name is... I'm Lian Lian, I'm 16. Mm. <laughs> Look, he's licking his thumb. <laughs> She's the youngest, and I've spoiled her. Look. <laughs> they are skilled at poetry and also weaving and embroidering. And by the way, none of them are married. <laughs> huh? You fool! <clears throat> we have enough grain, enough silks and brocades, and gold and silver to last a lifetime. Oh, isn't marrying here better than an arduous trek to the West? What do you say, gentlemen? Uh, master, 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 this lady is talking to you. Why don't you answer her? 
We are men of faith. It's a sin to be tempted by wealth or lust. <laughs> you insolent monk. I asked you to marry us with all sincerity. Even if you have made your vows, you could at least let me have a disciple as a son-in-law. Well... Uh, monkey. Hmm? Uh, I think... Master. Uh, Master. Well, I'll never be her son-in-law. Hey, Pigsy, uh, you stay here. <laughs> you stay. Uh, uh, don't make fun of me. <laughs> we need to discuss hey. this. Hey, Sandy, uh? will you stay? Hey, brother, how can you ask? I have repented and now follow Master. I've made up my mind to go west. <laughs> I'm not going to be anyone's son-in-law. <sighs> If you hadn't come so far from the east, I'd drive you out of my house. <laughs> Master, you should have been more tactful and given some non-committal answer. Then we could at least eat well tonight and refuse to marry in the morning. Now we're going to have a lousy night with nothing to eat if that inside door stays shut and nobody comes out to us. Hmm. Then you go marry one of her daughters. Brother, hey, don't mock me. We need to make a plan. Easy. Why bother? If you like, you can marry your daughters and stay here. Stop it. Stop it. I know what you're all thinking. Huh. You're just making fun of me. <laughs> Master. Look, brother. <laughs> we haven't even seen a cup of tea up till now, not to speak of any food. How can the whores travel tomorrow if it can't eat tonight? You all wait here. I'll take him out to craze. <laughs> Give me that. I like this one. He's coming. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Where are you going, little monk? <laughs> I'm uh, uh, grazing the horse. Uh, oh. That master of yours is so uptight. Wouldn't it be better to marry us and stay here? <laughs> They're under orders from the Tang Emperor. Uh, and scared to disobey him. It, it's just now in the hall, I was in an awkward situation. <sighs> I don't mind your looks, but I am afraid my daughters will. Uh, I might be a, a bit ugly, but I can do all kinds of work in the field and at home. Uh, You'd better talk it over with your master. <laughs> He's not my father or mother. This is my decision to make. Very well. I'll tell my girls right now. <laughs> Mother! Mm? Please, uh, say good things about me to your daughters. <laughs> oh, fine. Uh? You don't believe me, Master? Master, he's brought the horse back. Ask him yourself. Uh, 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 Pigsy, uh, have you fed the horse? Uh, 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 I, I couldn't find any good grass, uh, so I couldn't. You idiot! <laughs> <laughs> couldn't find grass? 
But you found a wife. Your brother! <laughs> Master, look. Gentlemen, have you decided which of you will marry one of my daughters? Yes, we have. You can keep that, Mr. Pig. Uh, hey, brother, Sandy. Now stop picking on me <laughs> and let's talk about this. Huh? What's to talk about? You called her mother. Pigsy, uh. today is the most auspicious day. So say goodbye to the master and go uh, be her son-in-law. How can I do <laughs> such a thing? Stop pretending. You already fixed everything up. Hurry up and keep your promise so we can have some wedding wine. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> What do you think, my brother? <laughs> and mother, come get your son-in-law. <laughs> All right. Get dinner ready for the husband's party. Yes. Son-in-law, come to the backyard with me. <laughs> Master! <laughs> mother! Pixie! Master! Huh? Monkey, you... Uh, <laughs> mother, mm? which sister will marry me? Uh, <sighs> I don't know either. If I give you my oldest... Uh, yeah, yeah. My second will blame me. Uh, but if I give you my second... Uh, my third will be upset. Uh, mother... Uh, <laughs> If there's any danger of them quarreling, uh, then give them all to me. Ridiculous! You certainly cannot have all my daughters to yourself. <laughs> Mother, it's not unusual for rich families to have three or four wives. Even if there were more of them, I'd take them with a smile. No, no. <laughs> Mother... What should we do? I have an idea. Huh? I have this red cloth oh. here. Put it on your head to cover your face and let heaven decide. What do you mean? Listen, I'll ask my daughters to line up in front of you. The one you catch will be your wife. <laughs> A good idea, mother. <laughs> mother, hurry and tell them to come out. Jen Jen, Ai Ai, and Lian Lian, come see which of you heaven will marry. Coming. <laughs> Jen Jen! Jen Jen! Mother, your daughters are so slippery. I can't catch any of them. What should I do? It's not that my daughters are slippery. 
It's just that they're shy. <laughs> Mother, if they won't marry me, will you marry me yourself? What? Uh. What a son-in-law! You are certainly not picky. You even want your own mother-in-law. Uh, mother, mother, don't get angry. Haven't we decided already? Uh, but now... All right, uh, as you are so anxious. Let's do it this uh. way. Each of my clever girls has a brocade shirt sewn with pearls. The one whose shirt fits you will marry you. Uh, uh, wonderful. If I could put all the shirts on, I'll marry them all. All right. <laughs> Daughters, bring in your pearl shirts. Good. Who will go first? Mm. Mm. Me first. It's a shame. Pigsy is so worldly and unfaithful. He has left the path of repentance. Master, that poor sign fool is just enjoying himself. Don't worry, you just get some rest. <laughs> Now, so go tell the master the good Quick, news. Uh, please, I've been hanging in this tree all night. Please get me down, master. Monkey. Help me. Get him down. Uh, all right, all right. Huh? <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> eh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Pigsy, where's your mother-in-law now? Where's the bride? Monkey. to the heaven of supreme purity to hear a lecture by primeval lord of heaven I will take these two man fruit to him yes Bright moon, pure wind, 
You two look after the man fruit tree in the orchard. Make sure it's safe. Yes. Bright moon and pure wind. Yes. Today an old friend of mine from Tang will pass by our temple on their way to obtain Buddhist scriptures. Pick two man for him as a gift for him. Yes. Master, we're all Taoists. Why are you friends with a Buddhist monk? <laughs> he is a reincarnation of the golden cicada, the second disciple of the Lord Buddha. I met him five centuries ago, so I regard him as an old friend. Yes. His disciples can't learn about the man fruit, or they'll make trouble. We will do as you ask. Brother, here. Mm -mm. Look at this couplet. Oh, residents of immortals who never age. Home of towers as ancient as heaven. <laughs> <laughs> this tower talks really big. When I wrecked the heavenly palace, I didn't see anything like that over Lord Loudson's uh, yeah. door. Uh, uh, brother, I... uh, forget the poem. Let's go in and get some food. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Please. Thank you. This temple is truly a home of the mortals. But why don't you worship the three pure ones and the four emperors? Why do you only burn incense to heaven and earth? <laughs> to be frank with you, the three pure ones and the four emperors are our teacher's friends. Oh. And the nine bright stars are his juniors. We huh. cannot worship them. <laughs> Brother, what are you laughing at? They say I get up to no good, but these altar boys really tell whoppers. <laughs> Monkey. Where is your teacher? He has been invited by primeval lord of heaven to a lecture in the heaven of supreme purity. Be quiet. That claptrap won't fool us. Monkey. Hmm? Don't tease them. Their master hmm. isn't here, so don't trouble them. Hmm. Go grace the horse outside. Huh. Huh. Pigsy, uh, uh. take our rice and use their kitchen to make our meal. 
Now get going. Uh. And Sandy? Master? You look after our bags. Mm. Oh. Pay them for the firewood when we leave. Yes. Brother, take the master to rest. Enjoy, Enjoy your rest, rest, sir. Thank you. Brother, that Tang Pri's disciples have evil natures and look the part. Yes, I'm glad he sent them away. Otherwise, we couldn't give him the man fruit. Hmm. Hey, brother, we don't know if he's our master's friend or not. Mm hmm. You're right. Let me go ask to make hmm. sure. I have to cook again. Rice crust? Brother, hmm? I asked him. Huh? He really is Shipataka from the Great Kong. Oh, let's go and pick the man fruit. No, we can't. Man fruit? Why not? What if his disciples find out? Hmm. Master told us the man fruit is only for tongue priests. <laughs> now hurry up. We have to pick it before his disciples come back. I'll go get the gold rod. Let's go. Reverend. Reverend, our temple is on a remote mountain, and we have nothing to offer except this fruit to quench your thirst. Reverend, enjoy. Huh? Goodness, goodness. In this year of plenty, how are you reduced to cannibalism? Goodness, goodness. <laughs> Master, this is called man fruit, or grass cinnabar. Try one to quench your thirst. Reverend. Uh, they... They are obviously newborns. I can't quench my thirst with babies. No. They really grew on a tree. Madness, madness. How can babies grow on trees? Look. Take them away. Take them away. Amitabha. I can't believe he refused such a treasure. Did you hear him saying that they were babies? Huh? <gasps> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a coward. Look at me. <laughs> Please. <gasps> Take them away. Take them away. Take them away. Amitabha. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad for him. He can't recognize <laughs> what good things we have here. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, if this fruit sits out for too long, it gets hard and inedible. Mm. What a shame. What a shame. Eh? Maybe... Mm. Mm, maybe... Go ahead. <laughs> we should eat them? Fine. Uh, 
Brother, brother. Huh? Come here. Come here. H hurry. Huh? Hurry. What is it? Sit, idiot. Brother. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Brother. Do you know there's a treasure in this temple? Huh? Well, what treasure? I, I can't describe it. Because you've never seen it. And if I gave it to you, you wouldn't know it. <laughs> you fool. I've smashed up heaven and been to the edge of the sky. I've seen all kinds of treasures. Now, what is it? Man fruit. Have you seen it? What? What? Man fruit. Oh, I certainly have not. Huh? Where is it? Right here in this <laughs> temple. <laughs> Pigsy, they say man fruit is also called grass cinnabar. Anyone who eats it lives to a great old age. Uh, that's great. Just now, the two boys gave two to our master. But he didn't recognize them. He wouldn't eat them. They should have given them to us. Yeah. Instead, they each ate one themselves. Hmm. That's why they were so sneaky when I saw them just now. Oh. <laughs> hey, brother, surely you have some way to steal a few for us. <laughs> brother, brother, go and pick some, please, brother. <laughs> please. All right, <laughs> wait for me here. Huh? Brother, I heard the boys say they need a gold rod. Gold rod? Huh? Come here. It's inside that room. <laughs> Pigsy, that rod on the table must be it. You just wait uh, here. Ah. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. uh. <laughs> Why did it just disappear? It must know how to use its feet. But even then, it couldn't get past the wall. Oh. Greetings, great sage. Little spirit, <laughs> I'm the biggest criminal on earth. I stole sacred peaches, <laughs> imperial wine, and golden pills and nobody dared to take any. <laughs> Why are you trying to steal the fruit I'm trying to steal today, huh? Huh? <laughs> Great sage, I wouldn't dare smell this fruit, let alone take it. Then why did it disappear just now? 
<laughs> Great sage, you don't know. This man fruit tree takes 3,000 uh. years to blossom, 3,000 to bud, and oh. 3,000 more to ripen. Uh. In 10,000 years, uh. only 30 grow. Only 30? <laughs> if you smell one, you'll live to 360. <laughs> and if you eat one, you'll live to 47,000. But they can't abide the five elements. The five elements? Uh, uh, uh. Man fruit. Metal makes them fall. Uh -huh. Wood rots them. Ah. Oh. Water dissolves them. Oh. Fire burns them. Oh. And earth. Uh, earth uh, what? They are subsumed. <laughs> uh. Then it must have buried itself. Uh, uh, I'll dig it up. Huh? Uh, great save! Hey. Uh, uh. Uh, that's some hard dirt. Why, this cudgel of mine can smash rocks to powder and even leave its mark on wrought iron. But it didn't do anything this time. <laughs> Great Sage, you don't know? Mm -hmm. The ground here is much harder than wrought iron. <laughs> uh, I was wrong to blame you. You may leave now. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, Great Sage. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Simple. <laughs> Look, here they are. Uh -huh. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Give her up. Eh? Brother, don't mess around. Let's split them up. Oh. Manfred is very rare. Go get Sandy. I got some for him. Why does he need any? Oh, yeah. Why didn't he Hurry. need it? Sandy! Huh? Brother, are you calling me? Come here. Yes. Hurry! Brother. Hmm? You wanted me? Brother, do you know what these are? Huh? Man fruit. Where did you get them? <laughs> All right, so you do know. Brother, he must have had them before. We don't have to share. Wait! I saw Manfred at the Peach Banquet in Heaven when I was Curtain Lifting General. The immortals brought some as birthday presents for the Queen Mother. But <laughs> I have never tasted them. <laughs> all right, then. We're all going to have one each. <laughs> But what about the master? This man fruit is stolen. Oh. He doesn't need to know. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Brother, the boys brought two for the master. He wouldn't eat them. <laughs> I'll eat mine now. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Brother. Brother, Sandy, hmm? what are you eating? The men fruit. Uh, out! Sandy, ignore it. You already ate yours. Get out of here. 
<laughs> Brother, I ate mine too fast. I don't know what it tastes like, or the texture, or if it has seeds. <laughs> That's your own fault. <laughs> Brother, you should finish what you started. Get one or two more for me. Uh, uh, so I can taste uh, what they're like. <laughs> Only 30 grow every 10,000 years. Uh, We're already lucky to have one each. You want to stuff uh, yourself? Uh, huh? uh, Ow! Oh! Ouch! Ow. What's the matter? Hey, look! <gasps> Just get more man food so I can taste it. <gasps> Brother, I beg you. You idiot. Be quiet. <gasps> they stole our fruit from the orchard. Right. Let's go to the orchard to count the man fruit. Mm -hmm. Let's go. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Huh? There are only 22 left. The other four are missing. Right! They must have stolen them. These sneaking thieves. Come on! Reverend! Ugh! Chimichaka! Hmm? Immortals, what troubles you? You... What troubles us? You look like a monk. But you are just... Just a thief, rather. I'm sorry. But what is all this fuss about? Don't speak viciously. Huh. You stole our man fruit. I think we have the right to be vicious. Hm. You... 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 We brought them to you, but you pretended to be frightened and refused them. And then you went and stole them. Amitabha. Hmm. Immortal. I shook with terror at the very sight of them. I wouldn't steal them. Hmm? You can't make so unjust an accusation. I may say you didn't. Can you promise that your underlings didn't? Oh, no. <laughs> You're right. Please stop shouting. Hmm. I'll... I'll call them here and question them. If they did, we will compensate you. Huh? <laughs> compensate? There are things money can buy. Hm. Disciples? That's it. The master's calling us. If he finds out we stole these, we're in trouble. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> we can't let him know. Disciples, uh, come here. <laughs> Master, dinner is ready. It's not dinner. This temple has things called man fruit. Which of you stole and ate them? Hmm? <laughs> to be honest, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> that greening one did it. Hmm? You laugh. What? I was born with a smile. Are you saying I can't smile because you can't find some fruit in your temple? <laughs> Brother, he... Monkey. Master. Men of religion shouldn't lie. If you did it, you should apologize, and that will be it. Brother, hmm? the master has a point. Tell the truth. <laughs> How can you say such a Brother. thing? Master, here's what happened. P Pigsy <laughs> heard the two boys talking about man fruit, and he wanted to try one. He made me get three, and we had one <gasps> each. <laughs> you stole four from our orchard. How can you stay three in good conscience? You know you're a thief. Huh? Four? Fine! 
You sold four and only gave us three? You hit it. Brother. <laughs> Take it out. Brother, stop talking. I only picked three. It's not true. We had 26 man fruit in the orchard. But when I counted them just now, there were 22 left. So you must have taken four. Great. Monkey, how many did you really take? I really only picked three, not four. No, four. You stole four, and now you're lying. I am not. Brother, he speaks the truth. Brother. You can't deny the facts. Brother. Enough out of you. <laughs> My disciple, tell me how many you picked. Master, only three. Uh. No, four, three, four, three, huh? four, four. It's four. You dirty ape. You steal other people's <laughs> things and deny it. You, you greedy monks, think of nothing but stealing things. Monkey, behave yourself. Show you what you get. Huh, talking to me like that. Talking to me like that. Brother, those monks are really even-tempered. We threw insults at them, and they didn't even respond. How could they? They stole our treasures, they are guilty, they had nothing to say. Hey, do you think we miscounted the manfruit? Maybe we were wrong, and wrongly accused them. But we counted several times, all 22. Mm, let's go count it one more time. Come on. Hmm. Come on. All right. Our immortality is ruined. What are we going to do? What do we tell Master when he comes back? <laughs> Those cursed monks. It must be that dirty ape that did it. He used magic to destroy our tree. <laughs> what should we do? <laughs> Catch them and give them to the Master. You know how to punish them. But how do we catch the four of them? Mm. I've got an idea. Eat. Master, eat. Let the master eat first. Master. Huh? You want it? This is my lunch. <laughs> Reverend. 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 We counted the man fruit again. Yeah, yeah. And it turns out we're not missing any. We we miscounted them. Forgive us for being harsh with you. Our deepest apologies. Uh, our it's apologies. All right. It's all right. I said we didn't steal the man fruit. Uh, we've made some food to apologize. Yes. Here. Yes. Here. Well, well. Okay. Please. Thank you very Enjoy much. Enjoy yourself. Please enjoy yourself. Hmm. Not unless they know how to bring the tree back to life. Hmm? Come on. Okay. Um. Huh? Uh -huh. Hmm? 
Brother, huh? look. Huh? What a strange custom, locking the door for dinner. You glutinous monks, you ate our man fruit, and on top of that, you pushed our tree over. Huh? What tree? I don't know. You won't get away with it this time. Huh? You dirty ape. You stole their fruit. Of course they want to yell at you. Why did, why did you push their tree over? Master, now that the door is locked, how can we get out? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Master, he can turn himself into a bug, fly off, and leave us here to take the punishment. <laughs> Master, don't worry. Brothers, calm down. I have a plan to get you all out while the boys are asleep. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. <laughs> Master. Pixie. Sandy. Master, you go first. I'll go make sure they sleep for a whole month. <laughs> Monkey, hmm? be merciful. I know. Sandy, Pigsy, take care of the master, huh? Hmm? Reverend. Brother, brother, wake up. Yeah. Greetings, Reverend. Uh, greetings, Master. May I ask where you come from and where you are going? I've been sent from Tong in the east to the west to worship Buddha and obtain scriptures. So you come from the east. Have you crossed my desolate mountain? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Master, may I ask which mountain is yours? My humble abode is Wu Zhuang Temple on the Mountain of Infinite Longevity. We didn't come that way. We took another road. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty ape. Who do you think you're fooling? You knocked down my man fruit tree and snuck out during the night. Restore my tree to me. <laughs> Master! Master, are you okay? Pure wind, bright moon. Yes! Master! Bring my seven-star dragon skin whip. 
Yes. <laughs> Master, here it is. Which should we flock first? Tong Priest ordered the crime. Flog him first. Wait! I stole the fruit, I ate the fruit, and I pushed the tree over. Huh. Why flog him when you should be flogging me? Huh? <laughs> this dirty ape owns what he's done. <laughs> of course I do. Then give him 30 lashes Only 30? first. <laughs> Whoop, that's it. <laughs> Brother. Harder. <laughs> Tong Priest Harder. must be flogged for slackness in training his disciple. Uh, Thirty lashes. Huh? Wrong again, sir. <laughs> when I stole the fruit, he was talking to your two boys. And even if he were guilty, I'm his disciple and I should take his lashes for him. So flog me again. Uh, <laughs> hmm? <laughs> this dirty ape is so cunning. Hmm? What? But he's loyal. Mm. Flog him again. Master, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> Monkey. Monkey. Master, let's go. Pixie. Untie me, brother. Come in. <laughs> Come on. Hurry up. You go ahead. Come on. Hurry up. Brother. Mm. Come on. Hurry up. Cindy. Come on. Bye. Four monks have turned into four stumps. Disciples, ready the cauldron. Pixie, the oil's hot. I think they're cooking us a meal. <laughs> Fine. Good. I'll be a lot happier dying with a full belly. <laughs> Throw Monkey into the cauldron and boil him for destroying my man fruit tree. Huh? Brother, they're not cooking for us, they're cooking you. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Monkey. You dirty ape! Ah? Uh? You could escape without wrecking my cauldron? <laughs> All right. Let him go. Disciples, Master. Master. bring another cauldron. 
for Tong Priest. Tommy Tabo. Yes. yes. Wait just a minute. Master. <laughs> My master doesn't have much oil in him. Fry the fat one with the big ears. Huh? Uh, you dirty ape. Why give him that idea? <laughs> you dirty ape. You're trying to trick me again. And that's what happens when you offend me. And why shouldn't I? Uh, <laughs> I was going to go first, but I had to pee, and it would have spoiled the food. <laughs> anyway, I'm ready now. Huh? Fry me instead. <laughs> you simian fool. I know your powers and your reputation. <laughs> but you won't escape my clutches, you dirty ape. Even if you beg your Buddha, you'll give me my tree back. <laughs> Mister, so all you wanted was the tree? If that's all you want, I can do that for you. Easy. Uh, uh, quite a <laughs> boast. And if I can get the tree back, what then? If your magic can revive the tree, mm -hmm. I will bow to you eight times and make you my sworn brother. Good, good, good. Where are you going? To get the cure for the tree. What if you never return? Huh? We need a deadline. How long, then? <laughs> Three days. Ah, all right, let's make it three days. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Mind you, look after my master, huh? Make sure you feed him well. If you make him uncomfortable, you won't like what happens. <laughs> Rest assured. Then I'm off. <laughs> cheers. 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 <laughs> cheers. Brothers. Oh? Why have you come here, great sage? <laughs> Just paying a visit. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you're escorting Tripitaka to the west. How do you have time to visit us? <sighs> well, we ran into some trouble at Wu Zhuang Temple on our way out west. <laughs> you huh? dirty ape. Don't say you stole the man fruit, huh? <laughs> oh, that was nothing. <laughs> what? You simian fool. Sage, there's no other tree like it. Eat one of its fruits and you'll live forever, Sage. <laughs> that tree, that tree's dead now. <laughs> huh? What? Huh? Oh, you broke I can't it? believe it. <laughs> Don't tell me you pushed the tree over. That's what I did. You are so careless. <laughs> Great Sage, Genuen is the patriarch of the Earth's immortals. He has boundless powers. He won't forgive you. Uh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, brothers, that's why I've come to ask for a way to bring the tree back to life. Huh? Back, back to, to life? life? Impossible. Uh no. Uh -huh. <laughs> Impossible. Uh -huh. No. Great no. sage, don't give up yet. We have no cure here, but there may be one elsewhere. Uh. That great immortal only gave me three days. Any later than that, he'll say I broke my word. What? <laughs> huh? <sighs> Calm down, great huh? sage. You just go huh? seek out the cure, and we'll go to Wu Zhuang Temple and explain, and ask him for a few more days. What oh, do you right. think? Oh, <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, brothers. <laughs> <laughs>
monkey. From now on, you are not my disciple. I won't see you again. My master really left me alone, master. 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 Monkey. Huh? Master! Master! Where are you? Do you know your misdeed? Master, I know I was wrong. Please tell me how to cure the tree. <laughs> You'll find your cure in the southern sea. Now, go. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Monkey, huh? where are you going? <laughs> the black bear demon who stole our cassock. So we meet again. You couldn't have repented or been redeemed without hmm? me. <clears throat> Shouldn't you call me master? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Real gentlemen don't bring up the <laughs> past. So why bring that up? Hmm? Guan Yin told me to wait for you here. Is it true? <laughs> this way. All right. <laughs> Monkey King, where is Tripitaka now? Wudrong Temple. Why have you come here then? Bodhisattva, please listen. My master is being held in the temple because I pushed over the manfruit tree. He won't let us go. You dirty ape. Even I have to show him a certain respect. How dare you knock his tree down? Monkey? Huh? Look. Hmm? Monkey.
black fox spirit. Here. My lady. Has Tongue Priest arrived yet? I've sent our soldiers to watch every pass in the forest. They'll report the moment he arrives. Is my blood feast ready? Uh, my lady, the locals have either fled or died. Even animals are hard to find. Hmm? I'll go look, I'll go look. down the mountain before we find any food. Come on. Well, that's easy to say. <laughs> hey, there! <laughs> Great. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hurry! Hmm. Come on, Master! Sandy, come on! The water's clean to drink! Look! <laughs> my lady! My lady! Good news! Good news! Tong Priest is coming up the mountain! <laughs> Excellent. Once we eat his flesh, we'll be immortal. <laughs> My lady, this priest has three disciples. One of them is the great sage equaling heaven. You mean that dirty ape? My lady, we should be careful. Oh. You guard the cave. I'm going to see them. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing but mountains and more paths. When will we get off this mountain? Look at me, master. I'm fainting from hunger. I'm also hungry. Monkey. Master? 
Go and beg a meal for us. Master, we're in the wilderness. I can't find food without houses or people. <laughs> Brother, you can jump 54,000 kilometers in one somersault. Getting some food shouldn't be a problem. Come here. Why don't you think? We're on this wild mountain, and there are probably demons. If I go too far, they might try to harm Master. Get it? How can there be demons in broad daylight? <laughs> Master, Master, he's lying. <laughs> We saw a plow and pots in the field just now. That means there are people around here. You idiot. Monkey. Master. Go beg some food for us. Hmm. Master, I'll have a look around. Master, there's a patch of red on a mountain. That must be ripe fruit. I'll go pick some for you. <laughs> That's wonderful. Huh? Demon! Master! Uh -huh. <gasps> uh, so, where is this uh -huh. demon? Um... Brother, where's the demon? Hmm. It must just be passing by. <laughs> Brother, you're quite humorous. You think demons come in passing in permanent varieties? Brother, he is right. We can never be too careful on such a wild mountain. Monkey. Master. Since there's nothing wrong, you can go now. All right. Please, sit here. Don't leave this circle until I come back. We won't, brother. <laughs> that monkey is tricky. Now he's drawing circles. Brother, come inside.
Steven! A demon! A demon! Miss, don't be afraid. My disciple is a good man, despite his ugly face. Uh, Reverend, so nice to meet you. Wow! Buzz! <laughs> Brother? You must be very hungry. Buzz, please have one. <laughs> Brother? No. Come here. Master! Miss, we are all alone on these wild mountains. And it's not proper for us to be with you out here. Please, go on your way. You're wrong, sir. This mountain is called Tiger Ridge. Many people live in on both sides of the mountain. It's no wilderness. Master! Monkey said this place was uninhabited, but this girl says... Miss, why are you walking in the mountains alone? Sir, my home is at the foot of that ridge over there. My parents are very old and sick, so I have to... Bring food to my husband in the field. If you're hungry, please take one. <laughs> I, I... Thank you, miss. But if we eat your food, I'm afraid your husband may be angry. We won't cause you trouble. Uh, sir, my husband is a good man. He repairs bridges and roads, looks after the aged, and helps the poor. If he hears that I've given you the food, He'll be happy. Master, you see? One of my disciples has gone to pick fruit for us. Why don't you have something cooked, Master? Master, this girl wants to do a good deed. You shouldn't let her down. Master, if you won't eat it, I will. Pigsy? Huh? Pigsy, the food she carries is for her husband, not for you. Take it. Please, here. Mm -hmm. Sir, if you won't take my food, will they come to my home? My parents are religious and they often feed monks. If you come with me, they will be very happy to cook for you. Sir, please come with me. That... Sir, if my parents found out I didn't take you home, they would blame me for not being sincere. <laughs> Master, let's go to her house. Master, Master, we should wait for Monkey. Nonsense. <laughs> Monkey has been gone so long, and the Master is so hungry they'll faint any minute. Brother, Go this... away. Master, let's go. Brother. Shut up. I... Shut up. Hurry up! Master, let's go now! All right. Let's go. <sighs> Good. Master! Demon! <laughs> Monkey? <laughs> Master, master, 
master! Master, the girl is dead. Monkey. Master. Monkey. Peaches. Why did you kill this girl? Master, I killed a demon. Nonsense. She... She was clearly an innocent girl. Master, demons often change their forms to trick people. If I had come any later, it would have captured you. Master, Monkey's golden eyes can see demons. He couldn't be wrong. Huh. Never mind if she was a demon. Uh, let's eat the food in the basket. Uh, master, uh, forgive me, uh, but I'm going to eat it now. Uh. Eh? Brother, why are you biting a stone? Huh? <laughs> Master, look! Master, that's Monkey's trick. He changed all the buns into stones and toads because he's afraid you'll recite the band tightening what? spell to punish him for murdering the girl. <laughs> Brother. Brother. Huh? You are treating Monkey unjustly. He has done his best to protect the Master and never lied to us. But you, you... <laughs> uh, come on, uh, let's eat the peaches. Monkey? Master. As monks, we must be merciful when sweeping the floor. We must not kill ants. So why do you kill people? If you keep doing this, you... you can leave us now. Master, where am I to go? I... I don't want you as my disciple. enough to say the band loosening spell and take this band off my head. Surely you can do that much. Bodhisattva Guan Yin didn't teach me a band loosening spell. <laughs> Master, when I lived in Waterfall Cave as the great sage equaling heaven, I used to wear a crown and a yellow robe. Now how can I go back with this gold band on my head? Please, Master, please. The... <laughs> well, <laughs> if, you, if you can't take it off, Master, you'll have to let me go west with you, huh? All right. I'll let you off one last time. <laughs> but you must never murder again. Yes, yes! <laughs> Master! Have a peach. Please. <laughs> Brothers, protect the master! Master. I'll go. Master. Master. This is bad. The girl's mother is looking for her. Brother, don't be silly. An old woman couldn't possibly walk around wild mountains all by herself. Reverend sir, 
Have you seen a girl with a basket? We, we, uh, no, we didn't see her. <gasps> daughter! <laughs> My daughter! <laughs> Ma'am, Master, don't come closer. <laughs> Ma'am. Uh, Reverend Sir, a mother asks you, why is my daughter laying here dead? It was because of my failure to discipline my disciple. Uh -huh. yeah. You are a monk. How could you let your disciple murder my daughter? You... You killed my dog! You demon! Monkey! You monster! You monster! That monkey lives up to his reputation. Hey, hey, my lady. I let him away with black mess just now. <laughs> the tongue monk will be mine. My lady. My lady. My lady. They're moving quickly. After the next mountain, they'll be out of our territory. I won't let the tongue monk fall into another's hands. <laughs> That tongue monk is very religious. He's easy to deal with. It's just that monkey. Eh, eh, if it is so, my lady, you should... Master, be careful. Oh, be careful, Master. Oh. Leave me alone. Oh. Be careful. Oh. Watch out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> be careful, Master. Oh. Are you okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> Master, you can't distinguish demons from humans. If you don't allow me to kill them, you'll never reach the West. Heaven controls my destiny. If some evil spirit is fated to cook me, I can't stop it. I don't need your help. Master! Leave me now. 
faster. I'll leave you. If I must. But there's still one thing left for us to settle. What is it? Master, he wants to divide the baggage. He's followed you for so long, I can't send away with nothing. Brother, you are going too far. Master, I mean, I've never done anything worthwhile for you. What do you mean? I wreaked havoc in heaven and was interned under Five Elements Mountain. Bodhisattva Guan Yin converted me. And you, Master, helped me leave my prison. If I don't escort you west, people will think I'm an ingrate! Master, for the Bodhisattva's sake, please take Monkey with you. Uh, keep him here. Bodhisattva Guan Yin. Master, it was Guan Yin who instructed me to escort you west. All right. One last time. I'll let you off once more. If you ever kill again, I'll say the band tightening spell 20 times. Brother, I think 30 would be better. Devotion to Buddha, Amitabha. Master, don't be so pleased just yet. The old man will report us for murder. Exactly. What do you mean? Monkey killed two of his relatives. Of course he'll report us. You fool. Stop it. Master, let me go have a look. out here uh -huh. uh, I'm waiting for my wife and daughter to go to the monastery <laughs> <laughs> don't try to fool me I know who you are <laughs> uh, uh, Reverend Reverend have you seen my wife and daughter uh, my daughter went off to the field and my wife went to look for her it's late now, but neither has returned. Oh, uh -huh. No. <laughs> Demon, I've beat you back twice, and you're still not satisfied? Have my staff! Uh, Monkey! Uh -huh. Sir. Uh, could my wife and daughter be dead? No, <laughs> this is horrible. My <laughs> family's gone. Uh, uh. The what monster murdered my innocent wife and daughter? How can I leave without them? Amitabha, Amitabha. Look, Master. How can I leave without them? You see? Sir. Master! It was my fault. I failed to discipline my disciple, and he killed two innocents. 
So your disciple did this, your disciple. For generations, my family has worshipped Buddha. Who did? And now my wife and daughter, not in my Buddha's disciples. Shut your mouth! How dare you deceive my master? Brother, stop that. You... You monster! Uh, brother! Demon! Monkey? Demon! Brother! Stop Monkey! Brother. Monkey! Demon. Sir, stop don't that. be afraid. Demon! Monkey, how dare you commit murder again? Master, we won't get the scriptures if we don't stop this demon. What does that matter? If you murder people... Yeah. Uh, master, uh, look. Such evil cannot obtain the true scriptures. The Buddha's edict must be obeyed. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Master. Master, that old man turned into a pile of bones. Get the horse ready. Master, the people he killed were possessed. Get our bags ready. Oh, and, uh, uh, Master. You're incurable. You've killed three people. Even Buddha wouldn't forgive you. Master! Just go away. Master! Master! You're wrong about me! The white bone demon is an evil spirit. She changed her form because she wants to hurt you. But you keep sending me away. All right. I will. Go! Uh. 
I'll go. <laughs> what? Master, Monkey sincerely wants to help you and has driven off countless demons. Even if he made a mistake, he's your disciple and he deserves another chance, please. Master. Master! Master! Are you afraid I'll go back on my word? <sighs> Sandy? Master. Open the bundle and get the paper and brush. Huh? I'll write a letter of dismissal. I'll never see the monkey. Ever again. Huh? Uh, master, you can't. You can't. Master, the road to the west is very dangerous. We need him to be around. Pigsy, uh, prepare the ink. Master, are you really going to make monkey leave? Master. Now. Fine. <laughs> Master, don't do it. If I leave you, who will escort you west and protect you from demons? Pigsy and Sandy can do it just as well as you. <gasps> Brother. Brother. This is your proof right here. From now on, you are no longer Brother. Master. It's not because I am heartless, but you've murdered. Three people. I really can't keep you any longer. No. This is it. Master! Master! Your disciple asks that you accept one last bow. Don't do that. I'm no longer your master. No! Master! Uh, master! Master! Oh, 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 oh. 